Hello, my name is Xue Chen Tang at National Tsinghua University, Taiwan. I was asked by the online editor of the journal Gastroenterology to do a video abstract of a paper from my group and our collaborators entitled Microtone Free Three Dimensional Confocal Imaging Method for Visualization of Mouse Intestine with Subcellular Level Resolution. First, some background. The intrinsic opacity of mouse intestine prevents in-depth optical microscopy. Small intestine and the colon are sectioned to expose the interior domains for microscopy. However, microtone sectioning causes distortions and artifacts. We therefore develop a microtone-free three-dimensional convocal imaging method for characterization of mouse intestine. In this research, we integrate optical clearing with confocal microscopy to perform penetrative tissue imaging of mouse intestine and use 3D imaging projection to present our results. We apply an optical clearing solution focus clear to permeate and reduce the opacity of mouse colon and ileum as you can see in this slide. Tissues labeled with fluorescence probes were examined by confocal microscopy. In the next video, you will see the serial optical sections of the mouse colon from the luminal surface to the muscle layer. In this slide on the left hand side, you see examples of confocal micrographs at different depths of the colon. On the right hand side, we use projection software to present the scanned region in a 3D fashion. In this slide on the left hand side, you see the stereo projection of mouse ileum acquired from staining of cellular membrane and the nuclei. In the middle, you see the luminal scan and the serosal scan of the ileum. The two serosal scans were projected from the same imaging stack, except the bottom one has a segment digitally removed to expose the interior domain. In comparison, on the right hand side you see the standard 2D images at different depths of the ileum. In the next video, you will see a 360 presentation of the serosal scan, as you see in the middle of this slide. This imaging technology allows us to examine the special temporal changes in cryptomorphology from mice with dextran sulfate sodium induced colitis. Here we show the progression of the induced colitis from day 0 to day 3, day 5, and day 7. In the next four videos, you will see a 360 presentation of the disintegration and the disappearance of crypt structure over time. We can also use our imaging method to map the 3D expression pattern of the fluorescence protein in the transgenic mice. This provides a new way to analyze the arrangement of labeled cells or structures of interest. In this slide, you see the 3D expression pattern of nesting GFP in the ileum, which revealed the capillary-like network in the mucosa. In the next video, you will see a 360 presentation of the nesting GFP expression in the ileum. In conclusion, our new optical method for penetrative imaging of mouse intestine does not require tissue sectioning and provides a useful tool for 3D presentation and analysis of disease and the transgenic intestine in an integrated fashion. Again, my name is Xue Chen Tian, the corresponding author of this paper. I hope you enjoy this video abstract.